Where is my ah! baby? Please, I'm sorry. Don't kill me, I'm sorry. Auntie, because of your wickedness and my treatment, that destabilized my health as a pregnant young lady. My condition triggered a labor room and lost my life. What is the need apologizing now that I'm dead? You abandoned my child, your own nephew. Where is your conscience? Give me my baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know we're supposed to get to the car. What is it? You see this plant? Yes. You see how it blooms? Yes. That's how my life has blossomed and bloomed since you've stepped your foot into this house. I don't know how you did it. I don't know the magic you have, but... You have totally transformed my life. You have brought me from a place of darkness to some, some light. You have filled this house with happiness. Ibuka hardly even realizes his mom is late. I do not know how you do it, but I just want to say thank you and ask you for one favor. Just... Chamaka. You might. No. It's like I was saying, my son here told me that he saw a beautiful fruit in your compound and that he would want to pluck it. So I have come with him here to make sure he plucks it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good news. Very good news. You are welcome. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Um, the fruit in question is there for your handsome son to pluck. Thank you. Is that waiting for you? Eh? See, but uh, because of our customs and tradition, hmm, the decision is not mine alone to take. Neither the aunt here. So I will suggest we call her to come and speak for herself. Jeep on Norma. Go and call her. Okay, nice. You are welcome. Yeah, thank you. You people are welcome once yes, more. Thank you. Very long journey. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Hey. Yeah, it's not easy. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's based in uh, Dubai and uh, eh? Dugini. Uh, Dubai. That's good. <clears throat> yes, That's good. So he wants Get the list. Hey, we can even 
Hey, still not for everything. Ah. Oh, yes. No. Yes. no. Uh, so, where is our jewel? My son is waiting patiently. In fact, he's running out of patience to see his uh, precious treasure. <laughs> of course, Father. <laughs> you can say that again. I'm sorry there's a situation. Eh? Eh? She's nowhere in the house at the moment. I can't find her. Did you, did you check the backyard? I checked everywhere, but every room. She's not there. How? She's not around. I don't know. But you told me that she's aware of her coming. Yes, she's aware. She's, she's aware of today. I discussed it with her. I was there when she was discussing it with her. I was there. I but was there. never to worry. I will see to this. But please, we really have to adjust the schedule for now. In fact, this is an ugly development. I am not happy about this at all. In fact, I am totally disappointed. Organize it, Eh? Father, it's okay. My, my love. My love. Take it easy. Take it easy. We must do something about this. Mm -hmm. Ma, please, see to it like you said. I will. Please, once again, we are very sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Okay. Hey. Father, I think. Well, we don't have a choice but to leave. Oh, you are going to go. You are going to go. Oh, my God. Zubi Zubi. Make us la la. Zubi Zubi. Hey, no, no, no. You really improving in this furniture work? Yes, yeah, so it's God. <laughs> <laughs> Look more like foreign. Look at this. Look at Nomanya. It is God. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look like uh, foreign, foreign, foreign furnitures. We try to learn and improve on what we have every day. Hi. If not for God, bro, and talent, what would I have done? How would I have enrolled in a university? Zubi Zubi. <laughs> Zubi Zubi. Oh, mo. AKA Akademi Furniture Kids. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thank God for you. Keep pushing. Very soon you will graduate. And yes, by special so... grace of God, secure a good job. That's my prayer. Look See, at you now. You know, you are lucky. Oh. Do you know, you are lucky. You were able to secure an admission in, in a university located in this village. It's God, though. Like me, eh? I school in the city. You are where now? I know. No, where they hand out and the school fees. Wait, wait, you are now. So at least thank God that you have graduated. I cannot wait yes. to graduate like you. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. The stress is not here. Yeah, Zubi, you know one thing is to uh, be a graduate. Another is to serve and get a good job. It's true. Considering the situation of the country, no job anywhere. But I know you will get a good job. Don't worry. Babe, my love. Amy, good day. Uh, good day. Um, Zubi, hmm? uh, uh, it's like you need to talk with her. Okay, now I'll see you oh, later. Yeah, later. All right. Talk to me. Why, why are you agitated? It's my own. What she, did she do? She brought another suitor today. Again? What is wrong with this woman? Why can she not let you be and get married to the person you want to? So, so what did you do? I ran away. I know by now they'll be searching for me. That's very courageous of you, okay? Um, thank you for coming here. I promise you, soon everything will settle down and you won't have to contend with our wickedness again. Come, let's go inside. Goji, what is happening? What is actually happening? Eh? Imagine the, the, the embarrassment this girl has given to us again today. Hey. Eh? Where could she have, have, have gone to? Keboje, Keboje, do you need to ask? No, no, do you need to ask? You should have known. When there is a burning bush, do you need to ask where the hawk visit? Eh? But trust me, I promise, she and that wretch, that good for nothing, stupid boy deceiving her, I will make sure they feel the heat of the burning furnace. Trust me, I will deal with them. I wonder when they will ever give up. <laughs> Did you just say give up? Of course they will never. But I will help them to do so. That girl, it is now she will know the real me. The lion in me 
will come out. I will deal with them. Let me get my phone. Nonsense, girl. Hi. Madam, good afternoon. What is good about the afternoon? Keep your useless greeting to yourself. So, you are bent on destroying my niece. Eh? Mm -hmm. After all I've done for her to give her a good life. You want, in short, that will be over my dead body. No. It will not happen. No. I'm, not I'm not destroying her. I, honestly, I, I love Norma and she loves me too. Everything I'm doing is for her future. What kind of useless love? Which future? What future does she have with you? A papa like you, a, a lover like you, you will not allow her to concentrate and get married to better suitors. With you boys, do what do what you are here for. Do what are they bring down the shop? Wait, 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 Like this. Hey! I wish I was there. Can we rock? What do you want, Madonna, now? Why did you call me? The beating is not even what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is that they scattered and destroyed everything I have spent time working over the months. Every job that I was supposed to deliver that has been paid for, they have destroyed it. After investing so much sweat and, and, and money into it, what do I do now? Zubi, Zubi, you see, it, it's, it's still your fault. This is your fault now. I've been telling you. Eh? Leave this girl. Leave him normal alone. Eh? Leave her alone. But I love her. You know that. Hey, hey, you are talking about love. We are talking. Leave this girl now. You are talking about love. Do you want to put in your life? Do you want to put in your life? You and I know uh, what you have passed through in, in the hands of that woman. Leave this girl. Eh? After all, you are not, you're not Romeo that died that, 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 that for children. Leave this girl. Look at what they did to you. They kind of people love. Trying to rest a bit before I continue. your bedroom. Does this place look like your bedroom? I'm asking you. You know my condition. Hmm. I'm sorry. I you know I'm pregnant. I was only trying to rest a rest a what? Eh? 
See, Noma, I want to make use of this place for my pan wine joint as soon as possible. So if you are not ready, you let me know. Because I'm not ready for this or delay. Holy Jesus. You're a mother. Uh -huh. You should understand my condition. Okay. But well, anyway, let me continue. Eh, as one is easy to me. See, I don't want to come back here and still see you sitting down or you are not done with this job. Because I'm going to deduct it from your wages. Yes, you hear me clear. The pastor, the pastor about it. I've been working in that big farm since morning. Which food? Is it the one you prepared and cut before going to the farm? Or which one? Auntie. See, you know it was just that bread I ate since yesterday. <laughs> the money I got, I used it for medicine. And I paid some for my aunt Nenta. Besides, I'm not paying me for this job I just finished. How does that concern me? Who cares? If you drink water or you, you eat stone, who cares? You want this food to, 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 to choke me? You don't want me to eat my food in peace? Eh? One more word from you about that useless boy again in this house. You will not only regret having me as your aunt, but you will leave this house this minute. Yes, you will leave my house. Come to think of it. Do I look like that stupid boy who got you pregnant? Eh? Or do I look like I'm the one who created your problem and that you want to force it on me? Eh? I warned you about that idiot. You refused to listen. You went and opened your leg. Wow! You're not even open with your brain. Brainless opening. That's how you open leg for a man with brain. You are only open it with your brainless. Nonsense! Eh? And you 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 foolishly made a fool of me! And got yourself locked in this world of wreck. Eh? And you expect me to bear the responsibility? 
responsibility. Mbanu, Mbanu, it's not possible. Who does that? Eh? And I'm very sure your next mother, my sister, and husband will be so ashamed of you wherever they are. They will even regret giving birth to you. Eh? Nonsense. Hi. Oh, um, ah, dead. Why did you take away my sister and her husband in that ghastly motor accident? I wouldn't have been suffering like this. Hey! Bia, yeah. I have sorted out all my dirty clothes. Look at them here. Yes. So, make sure you wash all of them before you test even salt in this house. Before you test anything like a drop of water. Wash all these clothes. Before you eat, else, no food for you. If you are hungry, call that hooligan, that scallywax who got you pregnant. You will take care of your food. He will, he will feed you. But take that off here. Let me eat my food in peace. Go, get, get away from here. I know of here. Get out. I know of here. My responsibility over you expired the day you got pregnant. Nonsense. I know Mpama. Rubbish. Now look at this. Hey, God. You don't know how happy you have made me making time to come and see me against your attitude. Whatever sacrifice deserving of your happiness, I'm willing to offer. And if the moon be where to see you, I am willing to go even further than your imagination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How romantic, my love. I wish there is a way to make things fall into our plan. <laughs> a way to make the world see through the depth of our heart. Don't worry. What matters is that our hearts are together and we speak the same language. Someday the world will see through our intentions and give us the life we deserve. What matters is that our love and our hearts are close to each other. With no time, I'll get the job and I'll give you everything you ever get. Is that your promise? Yes, we're ever together. Oh, my only fear is my aunt being against this relationship. You don't have to be afraid, okay? And in, in some way, I don't blame her. Who would want a jobless youth couple for her needs? But what I'm promising you is that I will make this work. We're going to prove to them that this will work. I will get a job and give you the life you deserve. Even if that day never comes, your pure intention, your love, it's its all I could ask for. But it will come. I have faith. It will come and I will take very good care of you. I love you endlessly. I love you more than the world, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So very soon I'll be rounding up my NYSC actually next month. And I know I'll get a good job. And I'll take good care of you. Okay, okay, okay. Enough of these promises. You know I will start. I need to start going home before my aunt. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. But you know I will not allow you walk all that way. Alone. <laughs> so shall we? Shall we? We shall. shall. <laughs> Yes. You are still, since you came out, you are still sweeping. You are not done. You know, there are dirty dishes and dirty clothes inside the house for you to wash. And you are still here. You better hurry up. 
so that you go and wash them. I'm going to see my brother. I know. You sounded urgent when you called. Is, is everything okay? It's a problem. Problem? What's the problem? Nancy. How about it? No, it's responsible for this pregnancy. Who? Who is responsible for this pregnancy? Who? Spread the fire skin you are alive. It's... It, it, yes, you! Can't you talk? It, it has to be care. Has you No, ma. So, you did not only open your leg for that useless wreck. Eh? You ended up getting yourself pregnant. No, ma. So, after all my warning to you, to desist from that forbidden relationship, what did you stand to gain from that idiot? Eh? When there are bitter men out there asking for your hand in marriage, worthy and responsible men, you said no. Eh? Is it because of that idiot? Oh, he's using his copper uh, uh, uniform to deceive you. Eh? The uniform that is even worn out, NYC worn out uniform, to deceive you. No, ma. Is this how you are going to pay me back? Hey, hey, no ma, no ma, hey, no ma. After all, I have done for him. After all my suffering for him, to give you a better life. Your parents, your parents, they died, and they left you to my care. I took you up as my 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 niece. Now people will begin to say, I did not train you well. And they are already gossiping that I am the cause of my divorce with my ex-husband. I'm sorry. I only love you. Shut up! Love for Pukwaki there. You're crazy. Love punish you there. Look at where the love has landed you. Now, you listen to me, young lady. Henceforth, you are going to walk and take care of yourself. You will take care of yourself. Oh, yes. You are going to pass through hell and brimstone in this house. I won't deny you. No, 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 no. You will leave. But get ready to take care of yourself until you get rid of that thing in your stomach. Nonsense. Anun Obama. Get out of my present. Get out. Get out. Get out! Idiot! Look at you, I was thinking you are intelligent. You went and opened your leg for that fool to, 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 to pound you and, and pregnant you. You are going to see hell in this house. It is me and you. Idiot! Useless girl, you are going to see. It's me and you in this house. Get ready. Just imagine. Imagine this girl. Eh? Where did I go wrong now? I thought this girl is intelligent. Eh? That idiot. That, that idiot using that is dirty uh, uh, NYSE uniform to confuse this girl. And he, he got her pregnant. What kind of problem is this one? Okay, until I see him, we shall see. Hey!
hearts of love I am dying in pains All because of love Come to not have a fool I'm a guinea I'm a guinea On your come back On your come back On your come back he has done for me. He has done for me. What my papa cannot do. He has done for me. What my papa cannot do. He has done for me. He has done for me. Take it easy, take it it easy before you kill yourself in a cycle. Allow me to celebrate. Mm. <laughs> Allow me rejoice, bro. Do you know how far I've come? I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, I was this papa with nothing. And here am I now working in an oil company mm -hmm. with a brand new car and this wonderful apartment to myself. Kai, we'll do what there is an ando game. God is good all the time. <laughs> hey, mm. now you're talking about bringing your woman, Romeo, dying for his toilet. Of course, in no time I'll go to the village, mm. pay her dowry, bring her to the city and live with her so that she'll be away from that very wicked auntie of ours. Well, for what you guys uh, have been through and yet remain unbreakable, I think she deserves your true passion. Of course she does. And I'm willing to go to the end of the world for her. I'll give her anything and treat her like the true queen she is. Zubi Zubi. Megus Lala. Zubi Zubi. <laughs> I can't wait to go down to the village and bring the news to her. I know she'll be very excited. Mm. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Mm. Cousin, I must thank you so much, Emeka. You have been of immense help to me for supporting me financially, morally, and otherwise. Not every friend will come through for one like that. Come on, Zubi. What are friends for? Is it everything I do, I do for humanity? Get one. Yes. <laughs> because I'm thanking you now. You want to help me? Would you well. thank me? Before? Humanity, philanthropy, so get one. <laughs> Casanova! <laughs> Zubi, Zubi! Make us la la! And how, how is Norma and her auntie? Mama, I'm out of the now. We lost her on the other side. Did what? How? You will have to take your son with you. 
because I will not have a bastard in my house. I will not have to go through what I went through to raise her mother. But she rejected all my, all the good life I wanted her to leave. She rejected it all in the name of you. Even the men, rich, responsible suitors I was arranging for her, she rejected them all and followed you. Now you have seen the result. So carry your cross. I will not have this baby spend a night in my house. Mm -hmm. Mama Chidi, why are you doing this? How do you expect me to, to carry a day old baby? What, what do I do with this child? I don't know anything about nurturing a newborn baby. Please help me take care of him. You know he needs the nurture of a woman. Maybe, maybe when he has come of age or something, let, let me figure out how I'm going to handle this whole situation. They have so many motherless babies. Oh, there are so many of them. Take the boy that they will take care of them. Take him to the motherless baby's home. Mama Chidi. I suffer a lot for you because of you. Take your baby. Mama Chidi, I... Take your baby. Anyway, this is this is what you bargained for. So carry carry him. Carry him and go. Let me rest. I suffer a lot for you because of you. Carry your baby and go. Let me rest. Ah, I'll try. Oh, God. What is this? As you can. Whose child is this? Whose child are you carrying? Auntie. Noma is dead. She died while giving birth. Oh! Oh! Mom, I'm sorry. Hey! I love how you feel. Hello. Oh! Oh, child. Oh, I'll be all over now. No, no, no. Hey! What do you intend to do with him now? Please. I need you to help me take very good care of him. I just got a job now and... And I need to stabilize. I need to sort myself out, but I promise I will give him the best. You just help me look after him, okay? To have a problem. Hmm? You know my nephew. Hmm? If you succeed, I succeed. Hmm? Don't you. worry. I'll take care of him. Thank you very much. My God will bless you immensely. I'm blessed too. Wow. Don't worry. I'm not going to die. Oh? Oh, you're not going to die. Oh, you're not going to die. Hey! Oh, My baby! <laughs> Where is my baby? Why? What a life. What a fate unfair. How could she go after all the sacrifices she has made for me? The love, the tears, the anguish untold. Can I ever forgive myself after her death? Perhaps this face of sorrow is what I'm going to live on all my life. I feel like taking my own life now, but Azubike, you have a consolation. Your son. You have a son. Hold on to him and make her proud.
Where is my ah! baby? Please, I'm sorry. Don't kill me, I'm sorry. Auntie, because of your wickedness and my treatment that destabilized my health as a pregnant young lady, my condition triggered a labor room and lost my life. What is the need apologizing now that I'm dead? You abandoned my child, your own nephew. Where is your conscience? Give me my baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The doctor said the accident was critical. That you can neither walk nor see. Because of the fragments of the glass that damage your eyes. But there's one thing doctor assured me. He said that the only solution to all this is surgery. And the kind of money they are calling, I don't think, as you can see. But like what the doctor said, the only hope he gave to us is surgery. And you and I know that we as a family cannot afford such amount that the, the doctor is mentioning. <laughs> Since the whole hope for us now is God. Please, you have to take her. God knows why. Thank you. Thank you for you. That got me a what? How dare him call you such a thing? Eh? No. Huh? You are not a bastard, my son. Huh? Your mother only died giving birth to you. Though. Like we all know, your father, as we is very much alive and always there for you. He left you because it's easier for a woman to take care of children. So he left you to my care. Huh? When you're in a village that doesn't know how Azubike always visits with gifts. Okay, let me tell you. Very soon, like he promised, he'll be coming to take you along. Now that you have grown to be a strong and intelligent young man. Don't mind that uh, 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 stupid Nandi. Eh? Very soon, he will become envious of you. Huh? When your father finally comes to pick you along, huh? we are getting old now. But, wait, if I should let this thing go this way, this boy can make one. Okay, I can get a link. See, oh yeah, come and show me where that stupid boy is. Come! Ah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey! 
Hello. How are you and my young prince doing? We are doing very fine. How is work? Work is fine. We're pushing. We thank God for everything. I hope you still have uh, some money with which you take care of yourselves. We have not finished uh, uh, your last supplies now. Uh -uh. You are really a good father. Thank you. It's my responsibility, okay? But in any case, I'm going to send you some more money now because uh, I need you to get those things we discussed about. I'll send you some money so you can have something at hand also. Just let me know when you get the alert, okay? No problem. Thank you so much for your kindness. Amen. We bless you too. You are just a kind man. Oh yeah, Balagan. Amen. And bless you too. Okay, you take care of my boy. I need to rush along now, okay? I just want to say thank you for taking very good care of me. I do not know who else could have done it for me. <laughs> it's okay. Are you not my relation? I will always help when it's necessary. Hmm? With all the money you keep sending to me for our upkeep, it was an easy tax for me. Mm -hmm. hmm? uh, Azubi, I want to thank you for the money you just gave me. Ah. <laughs> it was, in fact, I never expected such big amount of money from Auntie, you. You deserve that and more. Do you know what you have done for hmm. me? Do you know what it means to take care of a human being from infancy till this age? If I had more, I would do more for you because you, you okay. helped me a lot okay. in ways I cannot explain or be, be back for. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I, I want to let you know that now that Chukwebuka is of age, I'd like to take him back to the city with me. Yay. Yes, I want to enroll him in a better school and get him a nanny to take care of him. Mm. Hey. It's a good idea, but hey, because I'm going to miss his answer. Hey, boo -boo -one. <laughs> yeah, no. hey. I know you're going to miss him and he's going to miss you too, but I promise you, Auntie, I'll bring him from time to time to come and see you. Hey, that would be good, but hey, hey man, hey, I'll miss you. Oh, my God, yeah. Hey, 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 Yes, sir. You know, I pay you very well, and I do that intentionally. And I promise, if you do better, you will end better. Thank you, sir. I will do better. Let's go, sir. Show you boys this is Chabaka, you're doing and okay? She'll be taking care of you. She'll be one of the best. It's been long, I never felt this way. It's been long, I never feel this kind of joy. Oh, yeah. You keep my worries away, make me feel love the game. Oh, coming to my life is a miracle. I know you woke up very early this morning Would to get him ready for school so? and make his breakfast. How come you're already washing the car? Ah, uh, it's nothing. I'll soon be ready. So now you're properly dressed. Okay, then, in that case, um, since you're on it, let's give you a couple of minutes to get it done so I can take him to school. Okay, sir. But we'll be fast. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, boo -boo. Let's go inside, okay? Where she's done. Everything seems to be okay With you by my side You give me joy and peace of mind Oh, yeah Boo -boo. hope you enjoyed the food. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Do you want some more? You're okay. So you have to go do your homework now. I'll come and supervise it later, remember? <laughs> ah, Chiamaka, this your food is actually very delicious. <laughs> mm, are you sure you're not going to open a restaurant? Really? You think so? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Thank you. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> 
Honestly, with the way you cook, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you open that eatery. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Chef Chiamaka. <laughs> 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 Ah. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chidima. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Ah, ah. Where is Ibuka? Oh, he has already gone to school. He has gone to school by this time. 7 a.m. Isn't that too early? <sighs> yes, sir. I know. But you see, I usually wake up as early as 6 a.m. So, um, give or take 6.15. I'm done with everything. Wow, this is impressive. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work, okay? Thank you, sir. We. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <sighs> so, how about your parents? You've not told me anything about them. Ah! Mekus, my guy! <laughs> <laughs> welcome back from your sojourn abroad. Thanks, man. Thanks. So, just me. I know you must have. I know you very well. You must have explored all the succulent white babes. <laughs> wait, do I need to wait for you? I know your ways! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, as we get, you never told me you finally given a chance. How do you mean? No, I was ushered in by your girl. Your boy, you get eyes open. <laughs> that girl makes sense. Make Kuzabeg, let not your eyes fool you. That girl is my housekeeper, please. The one I told you I engaged to serve the no. house before you traveled now no 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 azubike should stop lying to me there's no way that pretty girl will be your housekeeper you're just trying to deceive me emeka read my lips that girl is my housekeeper i don't see any point lying to you that fine girl of course your housekeeper uh -huh. is it that i don't know what i'm telling you i said i employed her i was the one who told her ah. Sir. how are you Sir. thank you very much now, come, take your tray along. Thank you. That's a bit of a waste. Now, Ajira. Aha. Cheers to seeing you again after all. Yamu uh, came, what's wrong with you now? What's I'm, that? I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. Don't I'm, tell me you have not changed your ways. I don't understand. Okay, uh, let me eat this. No, 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 sit, sit here. Ease yourself here. You're not leaving this chair until you step out of this gate. Because I'm drugging my. You have not changed. I've seen you have not changed your ways. Yeah, uh, uh, Is it God gave us eyes uh, to see and be good, good things? I just cited one. Emeka, for the last time, keep your eyes out of that girl. She's my housekeeper. Take your drink. Why are you protecting this girl? You say she's your housekeeper. Why are you protecting her? Because she's my responsibility. I have to protect her. It's fine. It's just that I remember those days. You know, any one mama, I get anything I want at any time. These are, no, no these are no longer those days. They were now watermelon. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Hey, um, my name is Emeka, but friends call me Amy Omumwa. Sister to Omumwa. Watermelon Omumwa, you understand? So I... Actually, I know who you are. You're my boss friend. Oh, you I correct. ushered you in and served the both of you before going to the market. Yes, yes, yes. I, I thought you weren't paying attention. Yeah. I, I wasn't though, but I recognize your face anyway anytime. <laughs> okay, um, um, okay. Why don't you come and let me drop you to the gate? No, thank you very much. I'll walk. <laughs> 
So tell me, how are you going to meet Father Wood? Well, it's not been easy, but then we thank God. And then aside the fact that I have a very smart and hardworking nanny, she has this fondness for my son and it makes it easier. <laughs> wow, that's so great. Like, I'm so happy for you. Thank you very much. Now you've seen why you need to get married. <laughs> Anytime soon. I know if I'm not rushing it, honestly. I do not want to do something I'll regret later. Let me just take my time and find the right person. Bessie, there's no good, one, good woman anywhere. Okay? You just have to just pick one and mold her to your taste. That's all. I cannot deceive you. I know that. If only she had not died leaving me and the boy alone. Zubi, <sighs> stop doing it in the past. Pick up your pieces and move on. I wish I could. I wish it was that easy, but I've tried it. It's still not easy <laughs> knowing everything she went through because of me in the hands of her auntie when she was pregnant. It will, it will. I understand. May you say rest in perfect peace. Amen. Now let's talk business. What about the contract we talked about? Yeah, that reminds me. The documents are at home. I think we should go pick up the documents. Now. All right, then. All right. Thank you. How are you? Fine, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. How are you doing? Fine. How is my son? Um, he's fine. He's upstairs. Oh, great. I guess this should be the house here. Yes, he is. Good day, ma. Chiamaka. Meet Joy, my colleague. Joy. Chiamaka, the new house help. Chiamaka, how are you doing? I'm fine, ma. Thank you. She's really hard working, like you said. Yes, she is. I'm very smart. Mm -hmm. Let me leave you to finish your chores. Okay, sir. Thank Shall we? All right, then. Welcome, ma. All right. Where are you both coming from this early in the morning? Um, good morning, sir. Today is Sunday, so we went to church. Oh, good morning. Wait, you woke up very early to go for morning mass. Yes, sir. It's necessary. I hope you prayed for me. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Hope you had fun at church. Yes. You stayed quiet. Yes. I trust you and I trust Auntie Chamaka. Auntie Maka woke me up like a baby today. Ah, people, Uncle, what are you? Of course, you're a big, big, big man, of course. Uh -huh. Stop feeling like a baby. Oh, okay, okay yes, sir. Okay, not to worry. Very soon you grow up and she'll stop treating you like a baby, okay? Okay. Good. So, what's for breakfast? Um, I'm sorry, sir, your breakfast is late today, but let me go in now and prepare it. It's okay. Don't worry, very sweet. You will grow! 
I honestly don't have a budget because I don't have an idea how much phone is sold. But if you can put me through what you have, I could make a choice. Okay, we have around fifty to sixty thousand. Can I have a look? Yeah, you can. Where? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, I got you a better phone. I know sometimes you might need to show me something and you wouldn't know how to. So I got you an Android phone so you can at least take pictures and forward to me. For me? Of course. Go ahead. You deserve it. Hey. Thank you so much. No, no, no. Get up. <laughs> it's nothing. You're a very hardworking person. I saw you the other day talking to my friend Emeka. I'm so sorry. I, I was going on my own and then... <laughs> no, no, you don't have to explain anything to me. I understand very well. I know Emeka. And I'm so happy you turned him down. Not every girl will do that. It speaks a lot. It speaks to your home training and the virtues you have. Which I'm happy you are passing on to my son. You have all the unique qualities of a mother and I hope someday you find a man who will cherish you and give you the life you deserve. Which brings me to this question. Thank you for the compliments. You're welcome. Come, come. Do you have a boyfriend? Eh? Hey! Boyfriend? God forbid. Woman has ever touched me on. So you mean you're a virgin? It's okay. You can go. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Well, work is fine, just a normal stress of work, but we thank God. Uh, you don't expect it to be easy. You see, you're talking about stress now, you've forgotten so soon. Back in the days, how you soak carry, and now you're talking about stress. <laughs> <laughs> and and you, we are praying for a day like this. Honestly, that is true, bro. Let's not even go there. I always remember how far God has brought me. Mm. Now I'm living the life of my dreams. Yes, yes. Everything is really moving fine. I thank God for that. <laughs> Let's not forget, how far that girl, I mean, that's your housekeeper. Uh -huh, what about her? Hi. Uh, you see, you're complaining that you're not married. You have such a pretty girl and you're not yet married. Wait, you want her to slip off your finger? Is that what you want? Something is definitely wrong with you. Let's go where we're going. We're running late. Uh, uh, but in case you, you are not interested, I want to tell you that I'm interested.
offer that girl, I mean, that's your housekeeper. Uh -huh, what about her? Azubiki, uh, you see, you're complaining that you're not married. You have such a pretty girl and you're not yet married. Wait, you want her to slip off your finger? Is that what you want? Now you've seen why you need to get married. <laughs> Anytime soon. You know, I'm not rushing it, honestly. I do not want to do something I'll regret later. Let me just take my time and find the right person. Bessie, there's no good, good woman anywhere. Okay? You just have to just pick one and mold her to your taste. That's all. I cannot deceive you, I know that. <sighs> Auntie, I hope you got the alert for the money I sent you. Yes, of course. Uh, I, I called to say thank you. How are you in the city? Oh, I can the roll, Lisa. Thank God. Uh, the other reason I'm calling you there's something I just remembered now and it has been giving me concern. So I just remember it. I said, let me call you. Eh? So that I will know your whereabouts. Eh? It's about what we discussed the last time. Eh? Eh, about you settling down. <sighs> yes, I know. I, I have that in mind. I'll do something about it soon. Mba, no. Uh -uh. Eh? It's not about you. Eh? It's, it's not just getting a woman to take care of Chukwe Boka. Uh -uh. Eh, you need a woman that will take care of your home now that you have a son. Yes. Auntie, I have a nanny that takes care of my home and my son. And she's doing a great job, okay? Mba. Mba. You don't just need a woman. You need a wife, not a nanny or housekeeper. The sooner, the better. It's all right, I've heard you. I'll do as you have said. Eh. Ngwana. Oh, please try. Eh, Ngwana. Eh, Menuko Bijo no Moyena. So that I will be happy. Yes. In no time, waste for nobody. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm in the kitchen making your favorite. It's so fortunate you are not here to eat. Don't worry, I will send it to the phone. Uh, my regards to everyone. Uh, especially Bukao. And don't forget to bring him back home this coming uh, holiday. Eh, hey, Chid here is missing him. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, take care of yourself. Huh? Good night. Oh. Mm, okay, mwa. <laughs> hey, mwa keep here. I hope you two gang members are not planning to feed me fat in this house. <laughs> no, sir, we are not. 
Daddy, I wish I could speak and be my mother. She's so nice to me. Ah, thank you, Auntie Chief. I'm really nice to you. See this plant? Yes. You see how it blooms? Yes. That's how my life has blossomed and bloomed since you stepped your foot into this house. I don't know how you did it. I don't know the magic you have, but you have totally transformed my life. You have brought me from a place of darkness to some, some light. You have filled this house with happiness. It could hardly even realizes his mom is late. I do not know how you do it, but I just want to say thank you and ask you for one favor. Just... Chamaka. You may... No! Please don't do it.
that's it. I'm sorry about this pathetic situation. Miss, Mrs. Eze, Mrs. Eze, I wish I, I would have said that congratulations. It's so sad. We have this Mr. However, I want you to understand one thing. God knows the best. Nobody anticipated this. I knew how much he loved you. And I want you to take that to heart and always realize that wherever he is, he's having your heart. Israel, your dad might be calm, but he has laid the foundation for you, and I'm here to make sure. Your dad might be calm, but he has laid the foundation for you, and I'm here to make it work. Okay? Smile for me. That's right. Um, uh, Mrs. Bridget. It should be their consolation at this point. It's a critical point. I don't want those your tears. It just makes sense. Give them a lamp of hope. Israel, uh, I want to assure you guys that I'll make sure, like what I've discussed with him as his personal attorney, his lawyer, that your life will never be miserable, that everything will be put in place, financially and otherwise. Good day, sir. How are you, Cadiz? Fine. It's been a while. Yes, sir. Oh, is your madam in? Yes, sir. And my little bob? Yes, sir. Okay, please, uh, can you just help me? Tell her I'm around. Okay, sir. I'm coming, sir. legally married. Even when he never had carnal knowledge of me. Oh, now I have realized how much he loves me. Because of this sacrifice, I will remain forever single as a way to keep the memory of his love alive. Even though he's gone, he lives forever in my heart. I will stay for him and help his son grow. I will make sure I make him proud by making sure I show him the love of his parents he lost and grow him to a great man just like his father. My love, I promise to keep the fire of your love burning in my heart forever. I promise to keep mine too. Thank you. I will give you the best out of the world. I will make you happy. I promise. Thank you. Take something.
you know God knows that we are going to start. You know God knows first of all. Start with brackets. So if you have brackets, minus, or okay, which one do you use? It's not one as a thing. You have bracket, you have close, you have division, you have multiplication. Which one do you use? Let it now write God must come. Then you can understand what I'm saying. Nine, I brought her back because I can't continue with this marriage. She behaves like a prostitute. I cannot continue with this marriage. Nine, I will come back later to collect the bride price according to tradition. I'm done with her. Did you heard what he said? Look at how you mixed yourself up and you, you, you just dragged the family reputation into mud. Is that how I brought you up? Is that what I taught you to do? Juliet, you have actually killed me in this village. Juliet, you have finally killed me in this village. Hello, my friends. How are you? I miss you more. So how is study in the UK? Oh, you found it up. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> so when are you coming home? Really? Oh, my son. <laughs> Thanks for making me proud. And I can't wait to have you home. <laughs> here it is, the same here it is. Yeah, bye. What are you going to do? Nico, that is why I am here in the city. I mean, I want to look for a shelter to lay my head and think about my life. That is why I'm here. What about the baby? Uh, what are you going to do about the child you're carrying? You told me you're pregnant. I, I've, I've aborted the baby. Yes, you can't expect me to be passing this frustration and still carrying a child. Oh, now. Eh? <sighs> Too bad, my friend. Too bad. I blame you in all this. See, if you wanted to do that, you should have please lodged in the hotel, not in your matrimonial bed. Baby, you went too far. Your matrimonial bed. Oh, Bonnie, please. Please. Don't remind me of my past. Don't. The deed has been done. You can't blame me. At least blame him for not being a man instead. I mean, do I look like a log of wool? My friend, you have no justification here. Yes, you have no justification here. Like you said, it's past now, so let's just move on. As for your request, you're more than a friend to me. Oh yes, you're like a sister to me. My apartment is yours and you're always welcome. Really? Except you're ready to go back to our normal business we used to, you know now. Uh, like... What I, uh, uh, before uncle, <laughs> it's not your business. <laughs> before this man came and caged me with nonsense marriage. <laughs> yeah, well, you know now. Now for you. 
Yvonne, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're a friend indeed. Oh, uh, blushing already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't wait for us to hit you the road. You know, you know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, my love. I do cook anything, no, nothing the inside. My though. sister, I am happy like this. It's been a long time I laughed like this. And you know I'm here to always make you laugh. I know. <laughs> That's my girl. Oh, I've missed oh, you, darling. Okay, let's just go inside, eh? I think you should. Oh, don't worry. Let me help you carry your bag. <laughs> You know me, you know I have a good maintenance culture. I bet, I can tell. <laughs> anyway, there will be lots of time for that. What you need now is to shower and come down for your meal. Oh yes, I'm really famished. <laughs> and I made your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so good to have you home. Come, go, 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 go. For your meals. I know. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Mom, this was so. <laughs> this is so good. I mean, I enjoyed every bit of this. Oh, come this on. brings back a lot of perfume memories. <laughs> I have been craving for your food. It's been a long time I had something this good, you know. I mean, I set for it in the UK, but it was all not as good as this, you know. Mom? Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that you remind me so much of your father. I do? Yeah, the way you eat slowly, the way you flatter me, the way you love my food. Wow, really? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad at least. Um, I know you miss him so much. That he's getting to be with me. Will comfort you. You're just like my biological mother.
about mom? Hey. Good day, mom. Good day, how are you? I'm good. Where are you off to, mom? <laughs> I'm actually headed to the spa. To the spa? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I join you? I'll be bored at home without you, mom. I mean, after then, we can just look for a place to sit out and have fun, at least celebrate my return. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, that would be a nice idea. Okay, yeah. I love it. Let's go. I wanted to go to the spa. Oh, I didn't know. Yes, you were. Sure. No, yes, you were. <laughs> Wow, I mean, everywhere is just so green. And yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I missed you so much. Back then, you came at this place of green. I know. Oh, I had a lot of junk. Really? Yeah. Ever uh, since I got back, I've been. <laughs> That's why I'm here to take care of you. You are the best. <laughs> you are the best son. <laughs> well, I, I hope you like me, right? Of course, just like your father. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. We must have more of you coming. Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. My love, I wonder if it's a curse that your son is back. Is it not meant to be my greatest consolation? Yet each time I set my eyes on him, our memories flashes like the lightning, reminding me of memories that make my eyes flood with tears. I fear how long I will manage this anguish. What music are you playing that is making you dance this way? Say what? What's in say what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you are enjoying now. Okay. <laughs> Virgin me because of your principle of making love to me only after our wedding day. Same way I will not let any man defy me or get married. All I will do is to live and see him grow to make you proud. Till we meet again, my love. It's been long, I never feel this kind of joy 
You keep my worries away Make me feel love the game oh, Coming to my life is a miracle What a beautiful soul Ooh, Everything about you give me joy You make me new again Oh, Love is a beautiful thing oh. Honestly, I think I'm going insane. Him. This is another emotional blow on me. I think I'll relocate to another apartment. I understand how you feel, your friend. But you can't run away from your shadow. Please, you adopted this one. I will know that. Keep your fat cake. Get over your lust. Or are you indirectly falling in love with your What is that supposed to mean? Are you okay? Is everything a joke to you? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for yourself. Nonsense. No mind her. She knows what she's doing. No mind her. She's in love. Ah, okay, that's him. Mom. This is Cindy. Oh, Cindy. Good day, Mom. Good day. So who is Cindy to you? She's a beautiful lady I've been telling you about, my fiancé. And I cherish her so much, Mom. Oh. You're welcome, Cindy. Thank you, Mom. Nice to meet you. Cindy. Please make her comfortable. I'm okay, Mom. Thank you very much. Um, I have something to do upstairs. Enjoy yourself. Hey. Your mom doesn't look happy for me. Um, don't worry about her, okay? That's by the way. So, what can I offer you? Anything. Um, I'll get you a drink. Something soft, yeah? Alright, fine. Okay. I don't even know where he gets all these shenanigans from. What nonsense. No, honestly, you need to see. I'll call you back. Not again, man. What is going on? You can't marry that girl. Why? She's pretending. Can't you see? She's pretending to be a good girl, so you marry her. Did you not see her? Her cheap colored dress, the overly bogus hair, the fake lashes. She's just a wannabe. So the way she was even all over you, cuddling you and holding you in front of your mom. Who does that? She is a prostitute. Can't you tell? Come on, son. I'm your mother. I want to protect you as my son. Just the way your father would. That girl is not the one for you. I don't want all this gold diggers to come and spoil the peaceful family we built for years. But mom, you don't know her well enough to judge her. I don't need to know her. Come on, mom. Chuprebuka, I am a woman. I know women more than you. That girl is a no for me. Oh. Anna? Swella, don't worry. I will be home soon. Uh, there's nothing. Don't mind this, my big head friend here, Ibuka. He insisted we sit out for a bottle or two. I have no choice then. I promise. Oh, okay. Um, on my way back, I will brown the mall and get you your body cream. Yes. Okay. Love you. I will tell him. Yes, um, my wife sends her regard. Wow, I mean, 
That is very thoughtful of her. It's been a while I saw her. How is she? Yeah, she is fine, but um, talking about sex, sir, she has been on my neck. On? Um? Yes, to get you to settle down also. She does not think it's good okay. for a guy like you, handsome, rich, well to do, right for marriage, yet still single. Well, you don't really have to scold me. I don't want any pressure right now because it's not my fault. What am I supposed to do? All the beautiful girls I presented to my mother, she rejected them. What am I supposed to do then? That, that's one thing I tried to wrap my head around. Like, what is the problem with them? Yes. She always find one fault in every one of them. She said Cindy is too short and ugly. Well, she said Natasha is not from our religious background. I mean, what does she expect me to do? Seriously, this is getting out of hands. You have to grab the bull by the horn and damn your mother. You're not getting any younger. Remember, you are the only child, the only son. My, my wife is waiting for me, huh? I'm not Okokuro like you, hmm? So what now, you're leaving? Yes, I'm leaving. I'm a mother. Beg me, you're my best friend. The only one I can confide in at this challenging period. That is why I set up this meeting between the two of us and avoided at the uncle because I need you now. Ever since my son, your adopted son. Whatever. Now, this is my problem. I have been avoiding him from settling down and getting a wife. Bringing up excuses just to discharge his fiancés. It's not as if they are not good for him. But I get so jealous whenever they get close to him. It's like every breath close to him is getting closer to my husband. I don't know why they have so much in common. Everything about them seems the same. Even their kids' smiles and mannerisms. so confused and the worst is that he's on my neck to make a choice for him I don't know what to do I am so confused I don't know what to do Becky would you want another woman to marry your own? He's not your own. Well, my advice to you is to let him marry whoever he wants to marry. So you can free yourself from this emotional torment. Secondly, you need to quit this principle of remaining single just to respect your late husband. Look, you need your partner in your life. Just let this man be. Enough, dear friend. Hey, who's called my man? 
Mm. A busco to the world. I can't do it. Stop hailing up black from me. You're 15 minutes late. Okay, um, bro, chill. You should realize that this is Nigeria, not abroad. You see here, we keep African time late as usual. Mm. African man time, that phrase. You know, I expect uh, enlightened and educated men like yourself to change that ugly and ridiculous narrative. I am sorry, Mr. Punctuality. Huh? Can I, can I sit yes. down? Thank you. Uh, how are you doing, bro? Well, I'm good. And who is this gorgeous lady you came in here with? Yes, um, my name is Juliet. My, my wife's childhood friend. Mm. Yes, she, she called me that she was bored and needed an outing. I said, fine, what a perfect opportunity since you and I are already fixing and got. So I said, fine, she can come along. So. Oh, oh wow. Very nice. Yes. Mm. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day. My pleasure. Oh, likewise. Yeah. I can oh. like your tattoo, though. Oh, thank you. Why did you do that? <laughs> I made it somewhere. Okay, fine. Where? Before, before you guys go with your love, let me do an introduction. Yes, um, Juliet meets my very good friend, a brother from another mother, Ebuka. Ebuka meets Juliet. It's a pleasure once again yeah. to meet you. Same here. Stunning you are, I must say. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, forgive my manners. What can I order for you? Um, nothing. Just water. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah, as you go. We share the same bread. Mm -hmm. Waitress! Waitress! Yes, sir. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Get me one water and Jameson Black. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, um, before she comes back, let me take a leak. Use the toilet, huh? On the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, tell me about yourself. There must be something really beautiful mm -hmm. about you. Nothing. Just a normal person. Juliet. Juliet? Yeah. yeah. Is it not a normal thing? She didn't get the glasses and the water. Okay. So, tell me about yourself. Nothing much about me. There must be something really beautiful mm -hmm. about you. Nothing. Just a normal person. Juliet. Juliet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Juliet? Okay. Hmm. Yes. It's really good to see you today. Thank you so much. Well, I just hope you have a good time. And I say I like something. Feels like you have to grab the boot by the horn and then your mother. You're not getting any younger. Remember, you are the only child, the only son. Just relaxing outside. Oh, lunch is ready. Well, thank you very much, Mom. But you really need to stop stressing yourself because of me. Well, a few hours ago, you took care of my laundry, and now lunch is ready. 
Look, mom, I am no longer the little boy back then, okay? I am a man now. And, mom, you are no longer my nanny. You are my mother now. That is more reason why I am not complaining. It is a mother's duty to take care of her son. Well, mom, I know how much you care for me, but, I mean, my friends are making a joke out of it. They think I'm irresponsible because I'm still living with my mom and I'm not settled yet. Eh? Don't mind them all. Ha! Don't mind them, my son. They're trying to push you into fire and when it starts burning, none of them will be here to help you. Don't worry. I'm searching for a good girl for Well, me. enough of your endless search, mom. Please, I don't want your weird behavior the next time I bring a lady to present to you, okay? Thank you. Are you sure one of those girls have not casted a spell on my son? That is now behaving abnormal. Ah! Son? Son? <laughs> Honestly, I remember when you were so little. Okay. Everything was so little, especially your hair. <laughs> <laughs> you had this tiny... Sorry. Hello? Oh, babe, what's up? Hmm, I can tell you're very good. Oh, you know, I have missed you so much with every ounce of my being. I bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just here in the sitting room, you know, just seeing a movie with my beloved mother, you know, just, you know, talking about old times. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Yes, our schedule remains the same. Sure, tomorrow, baby. Yes. Uh, sorry, um, I got a little bit distracted. I was showing something on the TV. Baby girl. Shagamuta, baby. Eh? What's up now? <laughs> baby, I'm fine. <laughs> this one you're dressed to kill. What's going on? Nothing much. Uh. Is that fish on your net? <laughs> no fish. <laughs> baby girl, see, I can't wait. Just spill it out. Spill ah. it out already. You know, go ahead. You know, enter inside. Where you dress to kill like this, is ah. not enter inside. Ah. I beg you. Talk. Okay. So let me let the cats out of the bag then. <laughs> and I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there is this cute guy. Unfortunate a money bag. Mm -hmm. Yes. So my childhood friend and her husband mm -hmm. arranged a meeting. And since then, <laughs> since then, mm -hmm. the guy done the for 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> so today. He said we are going on a special date. Like, indeed. Special date. It's a special date because you're dressed to kill. Really? I'm telling you. For real? Uh huh. You look so beautiful. Are you sure? As you look like mommy water, we just come out from water. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, baby girl. Yes. You're so lucky. Thank you. <laughs> but please, just play safe. And don't forget to place him on a good bill. Like, I mean, Make him because that's what men deserve. Mm -mm. mm -mm. No, go make this one. Yeah? This one, na auto sure. This one, na sure one. Hey. So, this one is for love. Voila. Voila. <laughs> See, I shall would not fall in love. I don't understand where this was start. <laughs> I shall vibe. I shall vibe. <laughs> I better forget about love. Who love help me? Mm -hmm. Yes, meet this guy. Oh, you said he's a money bag and you want to do love. No for my alone. No try him. Tell them. Let's watch and see. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, see, eh? I don't just want you to make mistake again. So yeah. that's why I'm telling you this. Yeah. Thank you. I mm -hmm. know you always got my back. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. <laughs> so, so tell me, how is the worker now? Mm. 
Hope you, hope you. Ah, money be the matter. See that guy in the house. That guy knocked me front and back. I say, see they break. I no open. I no close this my eye. I no just close as much as see as my body be like be like this. Eh, you be like say one dress people beat me. Now if you walk out, so you know as 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 they walk out when they come, as they do my leg. I just the package make people don't understand. This guy don't kill me. Now okay. walk, oh. <laughs> my friend, this one I die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now wait till fix it, Eh? Mm -hmm. Now wait till the friend from me be. Yes. So. This your guy go do you like that? No, he cannot. He, he will, will do you like that. He will take a small. He cannot one with this. Wait, 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 she, my ship. Then, now what for you? See, see, ship uh -huh. now. Figure eight. Figure finish. Baby, I'm cool. Ah, gay, 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 gay. I think you're dressed to kill me. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Thank you so much. Come but once. Mm -mm. My own comes on a regular. Baby girl, you move. Mm -hmm. I am so happy for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you're, you're so lucky. Mm -hmm. Imagine just now. Imagine two men, money bags in that matter, mm -hmm. coming to you with marriage intention. Yes. See me here now. I asked there since the waist. You know this small boy, we don't get good intention for my life. Now just to go club, knock me, go club, knock me. Now you want me to be knock me. Babe, wait, you know say be my very good friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Julie, you know you're my friend. Yes. And I want to ask you one important question. Ask me. I don't want you to lie to me. Ask me. You will not lie to me. Ask me. Okay, babe. My friend, mm -hmm. I'm very so to be used. God for me. Hey. Why you they laugh? My sister, I know they use any support. Now strategy, I'm not open eye. I open eye, you oh. Are you sure? Oh boy! Ma tell you, no. the guy don't believe him. Uh -huh. He won't come to do me UK citizen or whatever, whatever. Uh -huh. Now I'm mark him down. Uh -huh. He said, Are you? I said no, please. He shook him. He shook him. He shook him. He shook him. He don't believe him. He don't believe him. He doesn't know that. My eyes is there, oh but I have to play the game. He will be back there. I'm there all this. I don't tell you. Julie, Julie. That's me, baby. That's me. Julie. That's it. She's not telling me the truth. I'm sure she's not. She's lying to me. Just now. Just do it, baby! Do it! Well, Mom, this is my beloved fiancé, whom I'm well pleased. <laughs> and this is my sweet mother. Good yeah. to see you. <laughs> yes. Her name is Juliet. Juliet? Where are you from? In the state. Be so precisely. Do you think she likes me? Um, of, of course, I'm sure she likes you. Uh, just one minute, okay? Uh, I'll be right back. Mom, what was the meaning of that? 
I thought I made my stand very clear. Which stand? You are standing on sinking sand. That girl is not for you. To fear what? Oh, mom, please forget this to fear what thing. This is my life. This is my marriage. I make the decisions now. I will get married to her with or without your consent. And there's nothing you can do about it. Huh? Yes. Hey. Hey, we. Hi. I said it. Ah, I said it. I said I would be with you one day. Ah, that bitch. Oh, 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 oh. It's enough of this drama, okay? I have a guest and I have to attend to her. All right? Thank you. Um, no, not at all. Um, she's very good. Just don't worry about her, right? You know we had a date, right? Uh, yes, yes, I know. That's oh, it. Everything will be fine, okay? Can you imagine? And I'm the sick girl of all the ladies in this world. And why can't you quit this myopic mindset that was raised? Because a trademark was used by a drunk musician called Warrior about Snake and NBC. Now you guys have brought those ideas that have been degrading the innocent women of NBC. Do you really know how much damage? Do you really know how much sorrow and damage it has caused the womanhood of NBC? Just because of this careless talk. Ha! <sighs> Come down, why are you taking this thing so personal? Because we have to protect the interests of womanhood. Oh. Ah, only God knows the heart of the victims. Let me just go straight to the point, mm. please. Okay. And I need a straight answer. Yes, what is it? Do you really want this young man to settle down for marriage or are you interested in him? How can you say that? Never, ever repeat that again. Son, I am... Um, I want to apologize for the way I've treated the ladies you've brought to me. I have realized that marriage is a decision between two souls. No one can make that decision for you. Not even me, your mother. So on that note, I sincerely apologize. And I want you to forgive me. From now on, you can go ahead and marry anyone you wish. <laughs> Mom, you're not serious. This is one of your games. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm serious. I'm serious. Oh yeah. my God! Thank you so much, Mom. <sighs> Mom, Mom, this this really means a lot to me. <sighs> Mom, thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for consenting. In as much as I want my future wife to be happy, I want you to be happy as well. And you will always have a special place in my heart, Mom. You're the best. And I am so, 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 so proud of you. Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome, son. You're so sweet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, so, when are you bringing the chosen one? Pretty soon, man. Um, do you want her this night? I can bring her this night, actually. Come on. You know, whenever you... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm serious. Why are we here? Well, if you look around here, you can see how serene and how beautiful 
magnificent nature is. Nature is very deep. Nature is art. Nature is home. Yes. And nature has no end. And you are nature. Because my love for you has no end. My love for you is beautiful. And I cherish every second I spend with you. Thank you so much. I love it here. I mean, the serene is so awesome. I can literally hear the sound of the birds. Yes. Trust me, I love her. You know one thing? Nature is very peaceful. You give me peace. You give me joy. And I am so proud to call you my own. And I'd like us to... I'd like us to share a toast to a love and bond and break it. A successful one. There's nothing to worry about. You're welcome. You see, since my daughter here has agreed to marry you, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah? We shall fix a date for the traditional marriage and everything will go on. Well, it's an honor, I must say. Thank you so much. I'm glad that uh, our visitor are be their good friends. Mm -hmm. And my son have finally found his hard design. It's good. I'm happy. I'm glad. Oh, Oh, Kogo. Oh, yeah. They will. They will. Thank you very much for the drink. Yes. I got my apple. Hell no, Auntie Bridget. I mean, for a woman who abandoned me in my infanthood, even when she knew my mother died giving birth to me, that is something I will never forgive. Because there's every possibility that she had a hand in my mother's death. They said, to err is human, but to forgive is divine. She's also my relation, my blood. But I'm against her evil deeds. However, now that you have conquered all her 
evil arrows and become a successful man. It's very important you overlook all her past mistakes. After all, she has had her own part of flesh with her predicaments. Hmm? Because they say in our dialect, na kunetibuilo. Success conquers an empty. Later with success. Please, we must consult and inform her before we proceed with your marriage arrangement. And don't forget, no matter the differences, family comes first. Okay, um, well, it's okay, Auntie. I understand. I'll do anything for you. Thank you, of course. Thank you so much. So, we'll go and see the poor evil woman tomorrow. Oh, no. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank, thank you very much. Ah, are you in there? Huh? Why are you here? Thank you. <laughs> hey! Thank you so much. Bridget! Sister. You mean this is Norma's son? The one I rejected at birth? Yes, sister. Hey. Put your mother Aburo Church. Hey. He is very successful. Ebu Kebu Bako, just like his late father. Hey. He's here to see you with so many gifts. Eh? Yes. Hey. Bag of rice. Tubas of yam, jibo, indomie, tomatoes, mangi, abacha, and so many of them. <laughs> and also to inform you that he will be getting married to the love of his life, <laughs> Juliet here. <laughs> Whose hands are these? It's mine, Mama. Juliet. Eh? It's your daughter enough to play. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> go, Joe, go, go. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. It's sister. I really do care about Norma here. All I'm asking you is just give me a chance to prove to you that I have good intentions for her. I may not have all the money in the world now, but I believe me, I, I know things will be better soon. And I'll come and marry her. I'm not a bad person. Ask her. Am I a bad person? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Thank you. Since you don't want this your leg, this your leg that you are using to come to this place, you will not go. You will go and work. Wait. I, 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 wait. Hey. I, Yes! You are using to come to this place to deceive my niece. Since you cannot, you don't want to listen to me. You keep coming here. That's why I have to wet, wet this your trouser. You go home wet. Since you are stubborn. Nonsense! You have me nana. Nonsense! I'm not here. Chukwebuka, I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. Your late father suffered in my hands. He suffered a lot. What I don't understand is your kindness, love and generosity towards me. <laughs> I abandoned you at birth when your late mother gave birth to you because of my hatred for your 
father. He loved your mother very much. But I fought so hard to stop their relationship because of my selfishness. I thought I would get a better suitor for your late mother. But after her death, not only did I realize that I was fighting a true love, but I got myself into this miserable state as a price for my sins. Please forgive me. I know it is too late to apologize. But I'm sure you are forgiven. Please, I'm on it. I... I'm really happy that Shamaka has finally consented to Evoca's proposal. Yes, and I want to help them with the sum of 10 million naira. Really? Well, what do you think? Beautiful. After they deserve it. I mean, support. Yes, talking about support. I think all this evil started when you made me introduce your evil friend, Juliet. To my childhood friend Evoca. Ever since then, it has been one problem to another, all because of you. Juliet was only a childhood friend. And you know that. I never knew she was this evil. We need to calm down. Eh? My man on fire. Look at me now, smile. Or, or, or this thing in another body. Eh, what? Hey, Should I? Are you, are you trying to bribe me? Yeah, honey. We need to calm down, okay? Honestly, only I, I feel guilty. Yes, after all it has been through, this really is my fault. We need to calm down, and I'm happy that Juliet is out of the way. Okay? Thank you. Um, I believe everything will be fine, huh? Yeah, yes, yeah everything will be fine. Where's my, where's my, where's my small stout? Emma, come and snap some pictures. Uh, 
Um. Uh, uh, babe, wait, please wait. So furious. What is the problem? Can you just explain to me what just happened? What did I see? You almost kissed your mother. When has it become a crime for a mother to kiss his son on his wedding day? Oh, please damn that mother finger thing! I mean, what has come over you? For your own mother? Someone you called your mother? Oh, uh, babe, come on. My mother was only trying to show her love. She loves me. She's my mother. You having a laugh? Like, are you serious? Like, seriously? Now, listen. Listen. Let this be the last time this will happen. If not, I will leave this marriage. Here and now. Okay? That's okay. All right. I'm so sorry, okay? This is a very special day for you and I. Yes! And we shouldn't ruin your mind. Yes, baby. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. You almost it's caught okay. my... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm here. It will never happen again. Oh it's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know I love you so much. I don't want to cheat anymore. Be in whoever. It's okay.
Why did you take the food I served my husband for the dam? Well, I forgot to tell you that my son doesn't like spaghetti, especially with fried chicken. <laughs> but don't worry, I am making him something special. Oh, really? Well, when did he start? Yes, I need to know. Since he became my son. What a god. Listen, I won't tolerate this in this house. This is my husband's house and not yours. Nonsense. Oh, yes, <laughs> Emma. Yes, I sent them the document. Yes, yeah, all right. We'll talk about it. Okay? Ah, uh, yes. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Honey, darling! I'll call you. Um, hey, what is it? Is it not that your so called. That's your mother! She discarded the food I served you in the dining and she started making another food, claiming that you don't like what I made for you. Well, um, look, I am really sorry about that. You know she's my mom and she knows my taste of meals. <laughs> Are you for real? For real? Are you saying that I don't know how to cook, husband? Is that what you're trying to say? Look, babe, it hasn't gotten to that, okay? Please. I mean, she was just trying to help out. Oh, please, it has got into that. Please. I am tired of this, your mother attitude in this house. I've had it here. And it's high time we got her another apartment elsewhere. Now, listen, I can't cook with these two brides and a groom picture in this house. Well, like I said earlier, it hasn't got into this. And it's high time you got along with my mother. Because I'm not ready to see her leave this house. Are you having a laugh? I mean, are you serious? Absolutely, yes. She's my mother. <laughs> we shall see. She's your mother, right? I will know whether you are lying or you. Thank you. And where is the car I asked you to watch for me? Where is it? I did what you asked me to do. Uh -huh. But Big Madame left with the car. Big Madame left with the car? Big Madame left with the car. Are you mad? Are you stupid? Big Madame left with the car, did you tell me? Left with the car you got for me. And hers is out there. 
Babe, please just calm down, okay? Just be calm. I don't like this. I do not like it. Babe, not again. <sighs> I mean, there are so many cars in the compound we can use. I mean, you can even use the Range Rover. Please, just let's avoid this turbulence, okay? I know it. I knew it. I knew you could not see anything wrong in what she does. You know what? Sometimes I wonder if you're married to me or her. Oh, babe, please stop, okay? I mean, this is my mother we are talking about here. There are so many cars in the compound you can use. Please, look, let's avoid this turbulence, I beg you. Ivan, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. But uh, what is it? I'm not enjoying my marriage. I'm not. How do you mean? I think my husband doesn't like me. He doesn't love me. Uh, what makes you think so? He barely has my time. He doesn't even have my time. He doesn't even spend time with me. Rather, he spends his time with his so-called mother, abandoning me, the wife. Why is she staying with you guys? I thought she have left already. That's the point, Yvonne. I, each time I, I, I tell him to get an apartment for his mother, he gets mad at me. Can you imagine? My friend, that's not a good one. No, yes! No, no, no. It's not a good one. Why? No. See, baby girl, we need to do something very fast. Yes, we need to do something fast. You know, strange things happen these days. Mothers have to sleep with their sons. Right? Yes, now. Shut your eye, baby girl. Why did you like say, you don't know it's in the game? You go there, hear your thing go turn another person, you know. Because I've never seen when... A man married to a woman, fine woman at that. Like, look at me, you don't have my time. You can't they carry all my time. They give your mother. Babe, stop playing now. Open your eye. Shine your eye. Huh? Wait, which one you want to do for a river? We may soap to enter your eye. You you did like say you be Jew girl, you want village girl, where we just come. You wait there for, for, for the streets already. How long are you going to continue to mourn my father? Everything is in the past now. You have to move on and be happy. I'm really sure that he wouldn't want to see you in this mood right now. Um, time should heal you one.
to the time. And my husband is not here. Where could my husband be at this time of the night? Yes. She said she woke up yesterday. She couldn't find the husband. Ibuka? Yes. And um, she said maybe she thought the husband had gone out for work as usual. Yes. And she tried calling him. So getting to the kitchen, he overheard his husband's voice from his uh, so-called uh, mother-in-law's room. Baby, guess what happened? What, what happened? She opened the door. She saw both of them almost kissing. Can you imagine? <laughs> and she said she tried confronting them. Guess what Ebika said? What that, did he say? Uh, the mother was emotionally down because of uh, his late father's death. And he was trying to console her. Exactly. Who does that? Chiamaka tried kissing Ebuka. Um, babe, I think you... I think you should understand the pain of Chiamaka. Yes, she has, she has gone through a lot. From the death of Ebuka's father on his wedding day, Ebuka leaving her, traveling abroad. You know, seeing him again means so much to her. Yes. She decided to stay single, just to keep that bond between both of them. So, um, do you let you understand that the bond between Chiamaka and Ebuka is inseparable. Yes. So now later, I think she will come to understand that this is pure love from a mother to a son. Huh? So um, don't worry, every, everything will be fine. Hmm? I'll talk to Juliet. Hmm? I'll talk to Juliet. Best of the same feather. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah, they flock together. Yeah. <laughs> where's um, where's this barman and the fish? Eh? Man, I'm uh, honestly I am famished. Um, baby, um, come here, let me check on our barbecue. Hmm? Come here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll talk. Mm, I'll talk to her. If that will, if that will make you okay, if that will please you. Ah, where's this bar man? So you called me here today. I hope all is well. No, all is not too well. Your son's wife, Juliet, complained something to me. She said she saw you and your son kissing inside the room. What? She told me. No, I, I think she must be confused. Nothing like that happened. Actually, I was emotionally down. My son came to console me. And that was it. Are you sure? Because she complained to me I am very bitterly. sure, please. Can we leave it at that? Thank you. <sighs> Alright. Yes, please. So awkward. Uh, Julie? Julie? Julie Biko, it's okay. Eh? I understand how you feel. But wait till I hear from his own side of the story. And then, eh? I will send for him. Because this is a serious issue. Oh, please do! Please do! If not, I'll personally throw her out of my mother's modern home! Eh? What's this? What is this? I can't enjoy my marriage because of because of his so-called mother! Eh? That you quest, eh? That you quest about me! It's not because I am married that I'm keeping quiet because I'm keeping quiet. I am not happy! I'm not a pushover! Hey, because it will be the game, my Julie. A Julie Biko, what's your name? Oh, no. Eh? Biko. Eh? Don't do anything stupid. It has not got into this. Biko, hmm? I promise you, eh? I will handle this situation. Uh -uh. I will handle it. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Biko. Please do. Oh. Please do. Oh. I know my dick, man, do me enjoy. Uh -huh. Mama. Uh huh. Mama, please. Do you have anything? When you want to. Aya, aya. What? I go with them now. Chiamaka, for the last time, I want you to tell me nothing but the truth. 
What is going on between you and my husband? Have you gone crazy? What sort of useless question is that? Anyway. I do not have time for this stuff. You go nowhere. Can you tell me what is going on between you and my husband? Get out of my way! Just stop this, okay? Why? Why is this happening? Hey, Buka and Juliet. I invited both of you here because I'm no longer happy. With the complaint I'm getting from both of you, every now and then. I mean, Juliet, I mean, what has come over you? Eh? Illegal Bugina here? In Kijibas as a Nedi Gogo? Eh? Going fiscal with your mother in law? Or the ma? No, ask your nephew here, Auntie Bridget. Ask him! Ask him what he was doing with his so called mother at midnight oh, in her bedroom. Does that look normal to you, Auntie Bridget? You see? That is her problem. Nonsense. Always making baseless accusations without allowing me to explain myself. Whining like a parrot. You're practically impossible. It's you that's not only possible, but complicated here. It's complicated. Enough! Enough. Can, can you see you? that? Enough. Keep quiet. We are here for solution, not fights. God. Eh? Eh, 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 Julie. I understand you're suspicious. Eh? But I know my nephew here. I brought him up from infant hood. I know what he can do. Hey, I, I think what you are saying that he did is is it is a misconception. Hmm? Uh, yeah. mm. I knew it. I knew it. It's a family thing. I know you're going to support him. Uh -uh. I know you're going to support him. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't go there. Hmm? I am only saying the truth. And you know that. And Auntie, Auntie Bridget, you are not saying any truth. Something I saw with my naked eyes. I from there with my naked eyes, Auntie Bridget. I from eh? But you know what? I am done here. Hmm? Yes, I can't be standing here exchanging words with this liar. Because liar. You are a liar, Onyala. Come and meet me home. You will tell me whether you are marrying me or your mother. Okay, okay, have you, you see what I was talking about? With their mother. This mannerless little girl, petulant child. Hey, it's okay, son. You see what I go through? I understand. Such arrogance. Hi. <sighs> hey. hey. Oh, good God. Obimo. I should have listened to my mother right from the onset. I understand. Hmm? But we have to be careful to avoid further matrimonial conflicts. Eh? Hey, I understand how close you are with your foster mother, the bond between both of you. But now, Biko, please, call down on how close you go to her. Hmm? Because of raising dust like this. Una, Biko, who be Huh? Biko, now, eh? We have one here uh, as we can nag Eh? Chekwelo nisige. Oh, no more. Eh? Oh, you didn't near. Hm? Okay, I'm going to get near. Oh, one more. Hey. Hmm. Oh, God, then I'm going to go. Honestly, bro, I am tired of this marriage. Yes, she, she went too far. However, I, I think you should undo this carefully. Yes, women often get jealous. Why don't you cut down the closeness to your mom? Or better still, get her a new apartment for, for peace to reign. Oh, well, that is impossible. I'd rather have her leave my house, but not my mother. Besides, I never even loved her in the first place. I got married to her because of pressure from family, colleagues, and people like you. That's why I'm in this situation. Can you, can you hear yourself talk? No, wait, can you hear yourself talk? How long do you want to live with a so-called mother? Or you won't marry her to? Don't you say that. What is the meaning of that? What's the big deal? 
If you know you love her more than Juliet, then divorce Juliet and get married to her before it's too late. After all, there's no blood relationship between both of you. You only choose to make a mother figure when it's obvious you want her as a wife. I will not have you speak about me or my mother in such a derogatory manner ever again. Eboka, Auntie. I insisted on coming after your last visit with Juliet, especially when Juliet is absent. I don't like what is going on here at all. Cha cha cha. Azubike, my nephew, was a peaceful young man. See his death. <sighs> Remember, this isn't the kind of life my late nephew Azubike wanted for any of you. A life of unrest and matrimonial war in a once Peaceful home. Eboka. Chamaka. I hope both of you have not forgotten so soon. <laughs> what you be here? Hey, Auntie. Oh, thank you so much for all the love and care during this my visit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for the plenty goes to eat. Yes, Auntie. Hey, hey, I If there's anyone who deserves this in this world, it is you. I cannot thank you enough for taking care of this boy, for oh. nurturing him from infancy to this wonderful man he has become. Mm -hmm. What could I have done without you? I just want to tell you that I appreciate all of that. Taking care of him like a mother. And I will beg you, please, if there's any time you are around him, to always keep an eye on him. You don't have a problem, I promise. Thank you. Anything for my nephew. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you, sweet. Don't worry. Eh? Eh, I, will, I, will, I will come back eh, next month. Huh? Yes. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh. Oh, the driver yeah. has uh, packed the bags and everything and all those gifts. Wow. Mm. It's okay. Please let me know when you arrive. Ah, ah. So bad. But don't worry. All right. Yeah, my camera. See how. Mm. So take this one. All right. I give you oh. I'm so bad to run now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ciao. 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 Auntie Bridget, good afternoon. Hey, hey! <laughs> when I Oh, don't worry, my great nephew. How are you? Auntie, you are here. Yes, I am. Holidays are over, so I have come to take Ibuka back to the city so he can resume school. Chai! I will miss him more. Oh, but you have had him all this while now. Oh, so again. On a juku na for. I can I'm never have enough of his company. I know, but in no time it will be holiday again, and he will come around to assist mm. you. Hmm? <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> Auntie, thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough for how you have. 
been taking care of this boy. I don't know what I would have done without you. Even when I'm not there and responsible, at all times you take care of him like he's yours. May God bless you. God bless you too, my brother. Thank you. He's also my son. Yeah? As long as I live, he's safe. He was a gentleman. Peaceful with a lot of good dreams for you. I remember that clearly. How can I ever forget that? Then, do all you can not to disappoint your late father. No. Please. Promise me you will put this situation under control. For you, Chihamaka. Even though I understand the mutual bond both of you shared for long, I wouldn't want to hear any complaint again. You are his mother, the elders of the home. Because your home in order. I promise to do better with you. Papa kwa mama. Ivo na. Nati. Ndo tia. Ona mo. I am here because of the report my daughter brought to me. About her challenges in her matrimonial home. And from what I heard from her, it's not good at all. And I am not happy about this ugly development. Just because of your mother. The Holy Book says when one is married, it becomes one with her husband. The husband becomes one with the wife. Why is this matter coming up now? Because of your mother. You have to do something now before it is too late. You have to do something, honestly speaking, because I'm not happy. And Juliet is the only treasure I have in life. I've said this before and I'm saying it again. I don't want her to cry because she got married to you. Before she married you, she was comfortable. You know it. We never begged you for once to come and marry her. You see, marriage... It has to do with understanding. You talk with your wife, you agree to disagree, you disagree to agree. Do you understand? She has a place in your life, as you two have a place in her life. And then this will start going on. Well, I lost her mother. She's the only thing I have now. If she's happy, I am happy. I understand everything you've said, my in-law. I want to use this medium to apologize for the inconveniences of you coming here. And nonetheless, I promise to handle the situation at hand. I know uh, we've not visited you for a while, and I promise to make it up to you. I will visit you soon. Um, it's not all about visiting me, you know. My priority is to take care of my daughter. Give her her place in your family, in your home. I agree. I train her very well. She's a good woman. You will enjoy marrying her. Just give her her place and she will take care of her. I understand, sir. Everything will be all right. Once again, I am so sorry. And to my beloved wife, I am so sorry from the depth of my heart with every ounce of my being. I am sorry. Please accept my apologies. Uh. 
a nestli je noc kompatibilní s šejmi cvůk. Well, don't worry about it. I am a man and I am on top of this situation, mom. Okay? You have my word. The situation is really flooded. However, I'm happy you have taken a decision to handle it as a man. So your home can have peace. And also I want you to see your uncle Joko about this. You know they say Ada's wisdom is divine. <sighs> Auntie Bridget, thank you so much for your continuous love, advice and support. I mean, what would I have done without you? <laughs> hey, you are like my son, Chukwebuka. I am very grateful. Um, let me rush to see Uncle Njoko, like you said. That would be wonderful. Oh, yes, mm. I agree. Well, I have something for you. Just for your upkeep. Hey! Hey! Ozokwa! <laughs> hey! Ogenedi! Hey! Chukwebuka. You have done more than enough for me. Mwam. Eh? Mwam arobin there. Oh, Chimo. Well, auntie. Mm -hmm. Nothing is too enough for the woman who raised me right from my infanthood. You mm. deserve the world. You deserve everything good. Okay. You just want me to be happy and comfortable, okay? Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Hmm? You keep on going higher and higher and higher. I got no bag, no bag. I want you. Chimo. Thank you. Hey. I have to be on my way now. Hmm? My regards to all. Mm. Oh, you. Mm. Mm. But I know you must insist to walk most of the car, so please. Uh, 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 I born and met on you, eh? Mamma. Are you in there? Boom, boom, mam. Oh, honey. Hey, darling. Alright. I can see you're dressed already. Yes, I am dressed. In fact, I've packed everything. It's remaining only my shoes so we can start going. Wow, you look ravishing, gorgeous, stunning, mm -hmm. and phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you, my husband. You're welcome, darling. Thank you. Oh, I can see that. I, I, I was thinking, uh, why don't you pack some more, you know, more shoes, more clothes, you know, because you might decide to spend more time, you know, at the hotel. Just well, you know, it's been a long time we actually. So your father. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, it's a good idea to visit him. You know, we don't really have to sleep there. We can actually go to the hotel, we come back, spend some time with him and visit other places, you know. Mm. Oh well, you know, it's also a very good time to, you know, make up for all the time, you know. When we have turbulence and disagreements and fights, you know. Let's just create new memories. Perfumed memories, precisely. Perfect. Don't you agree? <laughs> okay, hurry up then. Uh, I love you so much. I love you so much more. <laughs> okay, just go. I'll be waiting for you. All right. All right. As a man, yes, I will come back to do the right thing traditionally. Wait, 
I took them by surprise because she deserves it. She cost it all, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Though I feel like I am responsible for this. Mom, um, you don't really have to feel that way. I mean, to be honest, I never really loved her. I got married to her because of the pressure to get married and settle down. And this is being honest. And there's a saying, everything happens for a reason. And in this case, I have learned to get married because of love, not because of pressure. Hmm. And eventually I will settle down with the one my heart yearns for. Interesting. So, who is this lady your heart yearns for? You will find out soon enough. Uncle, I really need your advice because I don't want to make a mistake. I'm really scared. Don't be scared, my son. There is absolutely no reason for you to be afraid. You and her are not from the same state. Talk more of same hometown. She did not get married to your father. Your father only did a marriage introduction. Unfortunately, on the wedding day, he died. Fortunately, he never had any carnal knowledge of her, which is an advantage to you. So you are free to proceed with your marriage plans. So marriage is not, it's never compromised. After all, there is no blood relationship. I advise you go to the family and do the needful. I promise that uh, I give you my full support. Thank you very much, Uncle. This means a lot to me. I was really worried. I mean, this is a relief. Thank you so much. So now that you are okay, so let's <laughs> Yes. They are in my house. You see what I've been telling you? I told you to get rid of that woman. Come on, that woman for your husband has before she come out to you. Now, see what you get me. She don't come out to you for your husband has. I have plans. I must get rid of that woman. See that girl? I must get rid of her. She does collect you. She says, Stop, blah! She does collect you. What's up, man? Uh uh. Babe like you, she just come home from multiple old bars. What's up? Stay soap now. Babe like on with this street. Where she been now? She just collect what you know good though. What up for us you? Because as I do like this, eh, I'm not just happy. I am angry now. Okay. 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 This girl no no say, I be a shit. We don't get sense. She a maka. I have brought our family lawyer and pastor to help me talk to you on my behalf concerning the disagreement we had earlier. 
Miss Shamaka. You know we've known for a very long time. Yeah. I was in the picture when your late husband and you were together. Chukwebuka here came to me with an issue of urgent attention and very important one at that. About his proposal to you, which you declined. I want to let you know one thing. My figure in this family is more than being your the family lawyer. Your husband, your late husband lawyer. Your late husband lawyer. But um, a, a friend, I'm a friend to the family. And I was there on that festival day. The day of your wedding with your late husband. May his soul rest in peace that we lost him. I want you to know that he told me something which you might not know. That he has never had command and luxury of you, not for once. Your love, your bond was just out of natural affection. Neither do any of you have blood relationship. For that particular reason, you don't have any reason to decline Chukwebuka's proposal. You're not committed to him in any way. Both of you are free to get married as husband and wife. To even prove this further to you, I have to bring our pastor here. You know, we worship together to seek his concept because only he can give us a, a biblical view of this. And when I did that, he gave me a positive answer. That was why I brought him. Pastor, did you not say that these two can go ahead and become husband and wife? Of course, God has already blessed them. Oh, thank you. You see, with this, Man, put the cross behind and move on. That vacuum you're lacking, you have it in the same soul. Congratulations to both of you in advance. Lawyer, thank you very much, Pastor. Amen. It's an honor to have you two here. I really appreciate your advice and support. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Let's cheer to that. In advance. In advance. Mr. and Mrs. Yes. Yeah. Israel. Thank you. Mm. That's all you know, you don't take a call. No, no, no. no. Mm. I'm okay with water. Thank you. Cheer, Maka. Ever since you came into my life, right from when I was a very little boy, and you have made so many selfless sacrifices for me. You have been more than a mother, a sister, and a guardian to me. I want you to know that I appreciate you so much. I will never take any of this for granted. But I also want to use this medium to tell you how much you mean to me. You mean the world to me. You're the very air that I breathe. 
and I can only hope that you will give me a chance to be more than a son to you. I want to feel that vacuum in your heart that my late father left. you to to be the mother of my unborn children. I want you to be my wife. I want my children to possess your beauty and elegance. create perfect memories with you. Please just accept me. I'm saying this from the depth of my heart. I'm very, very angry at this point right now. Could you believe that this guy could chew me like a trash? After everything we have been together, I was even expecting a proposal from him, but no way. At this point, I, 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 I'm even jealous of you because you had the opportunity. Someone even proposed to you and you declined it. I know how much you love this guy. Just say yes. Say yes to him. Remember what the pastor said? That you are free to get married. To him. You have been a virgin ever since you lost your husband. You need a better life for yourself. And you never had any marital vow with him. You just have to be happy. Say yes. I can never be more certain. Just say yes. Chiamaka. Chiamaka. You don't know me, but I will teach you what it means to toy with a tiger's tail. Just check her alone. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Huh? This useless girl. So what are you still doing here? Each marriage you back on is to bring shame to this family. Juliet. Do you remember I lied to Ibuka? Just to make sure he married you. You got there, you messed up the whole thing. You are back again. Okay, we'll go in. I am tired of your excesses. What I want you to do is tomorrow morning pick your bag and baggages and leave here. Did you hear me very well? I, I, will, I will leave! I will leave in the morning, even now I can leave here. Eh? What is this? Is this a house? If you are not a failure, your mates are building mansion. Yeah, I will leave my house. I will leave! Oh, is it my fault that he's sleeping with his so-called mother? Eh? For what 
he can not even if he can not even support me. Now come shim shim shim. Come sir. Look at her. Look at her. What have I done in this life, God? Why are you punishing me this way now? I thought by now this girl would be a consolation to me. After I've lost her mother many years ago. But look at what he's doing to me now. Why is she doing this to me? You just have to move on with it. I've given my approval. This is the lady in question. Hmm? I want you and your men to no traces. I'm going to forward her picture to your WhatsApp right now and your part payment. And I hope I can trust you guys, you and your men. Consider your job there. Are you sure? Hey. No is very important. My, my heart is beating. Be calm down. Are you sure these people are good in what they do? I've told you to stop panicking. They are good at their job. Right. No. I don't. Just calm down. Hello? Is that? You mean you did it clean? Good. Okay. Right. Okay. Fine. You will see me there right now. I mean, I'm I'm on my way now. There. Thank you. Is uh, there? Good. I overheard them telling you they have executed the job. Yes. I told you to stop panicking. Listen, <laughs> just calm down. Who among them contracted you for the assassin? This one. Young woman, this criminal and his gang confessed that you contracted them to assassinate one Mrs. Eze. And you are hereby under arrest. And whatever you said here will be used against you in the court of law. So now, move! Sir. I said move! Hold on! Boy, move! Get up! Constance. It was a very terrible incident. Three heavily armed guys ambushed me. They almost killed me. I was just too lucky to be rescued by the Who Who then arrested the three of them. Thank God for your life. In fact, God is good. All the time. 
In fact, this calls for celebration. And make sure you put up the Thanksgiving service. Of course, I will. I will. Ah, this Juliet, I never knew she was this evil. Even after being my childhood friend. And mm. I thank God that she had been arrested. Honestly, I, I want to thank God for, for saving your life. Yeah. You know, if, if anything would have happened to you, I, I wonder what Ivoka would have done. Mm. Yes. Oh. I don't. Talk of the devil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, we've been waiting for you at your usual spot. Tell, You're delaying can, too much. What's can, going on? Can I, can I talk to him? <laughs> can I talk to him? Yes, the opponent is taking too much time. He wants to talk to you. Please, okay. please. <laughs> <laughs> the big boy. <laughs> A boost code to the world. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, where, where are you now, G? And then leave those and see. I have ordered for barbecue and don't pray on. Oh we are shutting God. this place down. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Be a gentleman and do not keep these two beautiful ladies waiting. <laughs> hmm? The party is about to start. Yes. <laughs> Let me give it to her. Yeah? <laughs> oh man. Ah. Hey, boat, okay. Baby. Okay, baby. We are waiting for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh -huh. So, what's up for the men? What are okay. we doing? Look at my beautiful queen. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, 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 stop. Stop. Bro. Is a taboo for couples to bond before time is not, especially on their wedding day. So, stop it, stop it, guys. Well, when it comes to love, all rules are broken. When it comes to love, two hearts. Meet never to be again with you You give me the peace of mind. I will always be I am the 